What is up y'all? Welcome back to another paranormal adventure. Today we are at the Hockamock Swamp. We are going to do a thorough paranormal investigation and we are going to be camping out the night. This is going to be awesome guys. So ready up y'all. Let's go. It's about damn time. Just taking you guys down the old carriage trail going to our campsite. So we already set everything up and we're just going to take you through the hunter's trail. This is three years in the making by the way. Yeah we haven't been back here since together since the uh, the start of the channel so this is pretty awesome. This trail here is where uh, the term between us was coined the muck. And you'll see why. We already set up our campsite. It's all good to go. Gonna have a nice fire. And we're gonna investigate. Absolutely gorgeous house tonight too. Still a little warm, no bugs. Pretty much set up for success. We still have our old bridge here, which is so awesome. We put this bridge here, I think it was like February 2020. Yeah. Just about. One of the, uh, one of the first real adventure videos. I, dude, I still can't believe this thing's here. I know. It was flipped over, over here when we got here. So we had to drag it over, put it in the right spot. Guys, and this is all swamp. This is Starting to get dark out, so it's perfect timing. Yep. Yeah, this is all caked up mud. That entrance is a true testament to one's will if you wanted to make it to where we made it. Because if you see that and you're like, you know what, not for me, you're not going to enjoy this back here. So. so here it is, guys. Home sweet home. This is where we're going to be camping out tonight. Got the tent set up. We got a, a little fire pit going here. We got the tent. We got our little clothes hanger up here. <laughs> Speaking of which, it's a little warm already, so we might as well hang it back <laughs> up. You know? There it is, Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers, taking my sweater off when I come inside to put a different sweater <laughs> on. Too bad I don't have a paint, uh, change of shoes. Could definitely use them right now, but. Yeah, we got, uh, we stepped through all that mud and he actually uh, fell over. She was carrying a bunch of gear, and he <laughs> fell over and got uh, all muddy. But it's, worth it's it. all right. We're out here. That's that's the point. So, so props to Big Red over there. Welcome to our humble abode. Uh, scavenged for quite a bit of firewood already. So, yeah. So we're gonna sit out over here for a little bit, and then when it gets even more dark, yep. we're gonna start the paranormal investigation. So. Seeing you guys shortly. All right, y'all. So we're going to be leaving our campsite. We're going to come back here and do an investigation a little bit later. Probably set up a campfire. But right now, we're going to head down one of the trails into the swamp and do an investigation down there. So 
So a little bit of history as we walk. This area is considered to be a seven to 8,000 year old native burial ground. During King Philip's war, the settlers had pushed them back into this area and this is kind of where they made their last stand. So this is a very, very old swamp. And there's a lot of paranormal history here. People have claimed to see UFOs, Bigfoots, spirits, spirits, uh, entities known as puckwudgies. So, possibly could be either alien or some sort of interdimensional creature. It's a uh, troll-like creature, and it's known to like throw things at settlers. Trickster. Very yeah, trickster. So, supposed to be very haunted here, supposed to be some portals and whatnot. But right now we're taking you down probably a very, very old trail. And we're going to set up and do an investigation right over by a really cool area of the swamp. But until we get there, I'll show you guys what it's like coming through here. See how thick this is, and this is the fall. Everything is damn near dead, as you can see. Uh, we tried to traverse this in the summer, and it was just so near, overgrown. It's, it was not traversable. We were going crawling on our hands and knees to get under some of the briar bushes and pricker bushes. It just was not a, a feasible idea. So this is the best time to come between now. In the spring, the ground starts to harden up a little bit. It's not as wet anymore. You can see into the swamp significantly more. Yeah, so here it is, guys, right over here. This is where we're going to set up. You can just hear uh, the nightlife. Place comes to life once the sun goes down. This is the largest wetland in uh, New England, so I'm gonna get a little closer over there. Thank you, sir. So we're going to set up right over here start investigating. All right, guys, so we got the REM pod set up over here on the bridge right behind us. He's got an EMF meter on hand, and we're just going to chill here and see if we can hear any noises. And uh, yeah, let's let's get this started. So. If there's uh, any spirits here with us, any Wampanoag, any settlers, could you make a noise for us? Could you let us know that you're here? There's any pugwudgies here. Let us know that you're here. Make a noise. We hear that you're tricksters. If there's any settlers here, let us know you're here. Make a noise for us.
getting any spikes. Can you touch that device in his hand to let us know that you're here? Let's uh let's go walk up the trail a little bit. Let's leave the REM pod. We'll hear a beep. Yep. <clears throat> There is a spirit here with us. Feel free to follow us. And if you feel so inclined, that red light on the bridge there, just go over and touch it. We'll hear it. But just let us know that you're here. We mean no harm, no disrespect. All peace and love. Let's keep going, guys. Hello? Do you hear something just jump in the water there? Is it a little frog or something? Did you hear a little splash? Yeah, a little splash. We, <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> we mean you no harm. We just want to communicate. You are here. We're just as curious about you as you are about us. So at any point, feel free to come forward and make yourself known. Snap a tree limb, touch one of us, whatever have you. I'm gonna bust out the spirit box. Yeah, go for it. EMF hasn't done anything. Check out the moon, guys. Got a nice moon tonight. Literally couldn't ask for a better night to be out here. Not too cold. Yeah, it's perfect. Bugs are gone. It's literally perfect. Picture, pe uh, picture perfect out here. This device in my hand will allow me to talk to you. So just speak into it, please. Let us know that you're here. My name is Chris. Can I please have your name?
This is red. Can somebody come forward and speak to us? Even if you don't speak English, can you try and communicate with us somehow? Do you speak Algonquin? Can you tell me where we are? Dead? You just said dead or yes. Are you saying that you know you're dead? Died or... Dead again? Dead. So... Hockamock means where the spirits dwell, and the settlers called it the Devil's Swamp. Is this a burial ground here? Want us here? Yes or no? I heard a very big yes. yes. How did you die? Were you part of the great war that happened here? Are you Wampanoag? If there are spirits here, can you tell me how many? Dead. Four? I don't know. Your female voice say four right before you shut it off? I'm not sure. Interesting. Let's uh keep going. Do you want to spin around? Let's walk back towards the swamp. Yeah. Hello? Don't be afraid of us. We mean no harm. We come in peace. Peace pipe. Did you hear that? Yeah, I was this time, I was right over here. Is 
there anybody here with us? There's somebody here with us. Could you touch that device on the ground there on the bridge? It has a red light. It will not harm you. It will just let us know that you're here. Could you please touch that for us? It's pretty quiet over it here. It is very quiet over here, which is very strange because it was not quiet earlier. If you are trying to communicate with us, we thank you for that. However, we would ask you to try just a little bit harder. Could you make a noise in the woods? Strangely on cue. Yeah, it sounded like... It was just a leaf, though, I'm pretty sure. Probably, yeah. Uh... All we would like to do is communicate. If you're intimidated by us, we understand. We're just very curious about your dwellings here. All right, so uh, all right, so we're gonna start walking back towards the campsite. I think we're gonna bring you guys over to the old carriage trail, do like an investigation up there, and then probably end it by the fire. Do an investigation, hang out by the campfire for a little bit. I think that'd be pretty awesome. I can't even see where I'm walking yeah, right I'm now. Yeah, I'm trying to help you out. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna head over to the carriage trail right now and set up an investigation over there, guys. Making our way over the bridge, back to the carriage trail. We get to go through this awesome mud. Make that mac and cheese sound for him. Just walking along some sticks here through the mud. This is the best part of the the Hockamock. Alright. What stick? <laughs> right, that stick got buried. It's a deep hole. Yeah, that was probably for me. Looks like most of these ones over here. Another bridge. And we'll be right at the car show right here. So 
we're probably gonna set up somewhere around here. We got the log to sit on right there. We do. You know? We also have that uh the brook not too far up. I don't know how much further it is. You know what's crazy is that like You hear that? I, that's that's what I'm saying, man. Every time you stop and like listen for a second, it sounds like you're just getting the tail end of something either moving around or like uh, voices or animal noises. Hello? We got four wheelers coming down? I don't think so. We'd be able to see their headlights. That sounds like two step. Hmm. What do you want to do? Want to go to the brook? Yeah, the brook. It's been a minute since I've been down there, so. I don't know how far down it is, but. I think it's very far. It's like looking into like an endless tunnel. Yeah, it's not for the faint of heart if you are uh, a little claustrophobic because it, it literally feels like you're walking through a tunnel of just dead nature. Because like you can see the swirl from both sides, how they both just curl together. It's kind of wild. I think this is it right here. I think so. Yeah. Yep. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yep. Usually it's, uh, remember it wasn't flowing yeah, this was, much before? It was, it was pretty it low, was right? low last time. Every time I look in here, I always think that I'm going to see, like, a Native American or a skull looking back up at me. I'm going to go, uh, let's go down there a little bit. Show you guys underneath. So gnarly water. Yeah, look at it. How gnarly this is. It's like got just so much dead debris in it. So yeah, this was built for the railroad, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see, it's got a steel girder across it. I don't have a whole lot of room here, guys. So I'm gonna try to show you guys underneath. As best as I can. Let's just say you're lucky you're not smelling it. This is pretty funky. It's a pretty funky smell. All right, so we're just gonna hang out over here by the uh, by the Black Brook. We're right off of the carriage trail. So, is anybody here with us? Any spirits? Wampanoag settlers? Passer buyers, fuckwudgies. Yeah, let us know. Let us know if you're with us. Give us a sign. Give me something. I got a device in my hand. If you come and touch it, the green light will then change to a different color. As well as there's a device next to Chris. It's got a red light on it. If you touch it, it will change another color. Come sit next to us 
and touch this device. We mean you no harm. Is that a dog or a yodi? Please do not fear us. If you passed away during King Philip's war, we're very sorry that happened to you. You shouldn't have been forced from your homes like that. This was your land to begin with. Is that you? Sounds like it's moving instead. Yeah. Are you a native coming to check us out? Respect or ill will, peace and kindness, as well as curiosity. We understand you might not speak English, but could you make a noise in the woods? Could you mimic an animal noise? Rustle some leaves. Spirit box. Go for it. Is there anybody here with us? You can use the device in my hand to speak to us. Well, woman. I don't know if um, the camera can hear it. So. Was that you trying to say hello to us? Yeah. Ooh, I heard a young girl too. If you're a spirit, do you speak English? Yeah. How many spirits are there? Something came through, maybe three. Yeah. Are you all English spirits, American spirits, or native spirits? Are you a settler? Did you die on this carriage trail? I just wanted to switch over to uh, holding the camera so that way I can kind of pan around for you guys when we hear some of these noises. So right now I reset up to, uh, I have the REM pod 
sitting right on the trail right there. If there's anybody here with us, please make a noise. Could you please touch that device in the trail, right in the right in the middle of the middle of the carriage trail? I thought I heard something right next to me. I heard that too. Sounded like a footstep or something. You hearing that? Yeah, it's right over here. Is that you in the woods? Can you keep making noise for us? Hello? Did you make some animal noises? Try spirit box one more time. Yeah. Is that young girl? Is there a young girl here? Could you speak again? Are there any spirits buried here with us? Could you say Hockamock? Or do you call this the Devil's Swamp? Is this a good or a bad place to be? I will ask you again, is this a good or a bad place to be? What was that? Sounds like the one that said good. If you are Wampanoag and you do not speak English, could you at least speak something into the microphone? Scared? I thought I heard that young girl against you right after that. How did you die? Was it during the war? How long have you been here for? Are 
Are you happy or are you sad? Happy. Happy. Heard that clearly. Another dead. Is dead. Are you happy because there's good energy here? Of course. Or are you happy because we are here? What was that? Would you like us to stay or go? Who's speaking to us? Can I have your name? Are you finding it hard to communicate with us? Yes or no? I thought I heard James before you asked that. Do you know that you are dead? Tough. Yeah. Tough. Not getting too much. <clears throat> Seems like we were getting more back on the trails. Yeah. Which is understandable. I don't know if there's just too much traffic throughout here, throughout know. the days, that it sort of pushes them back. But... I don't know, guys. Let us know if uh, we missed anything, if you guys heard anything. And if you guys are watching our back for us, too, you know? Yeah. So. Let us know if something's... One of these times we're going to look around and pan and we're going to see a face. Something like Past, that. We have to. The odds are in our favor. One of these times I just want to pan over and just see a Native American face hiding behind a tree or something. Or even a settler. Did you hear that thump? Yeah. Bugwudgies, I heard that you like to trick the settlers and the natives. You like to throw things at them. You like to steal from them. I heard you like to throw pocket sand into their eyes. Why don't you throw something at us? We know you're out there. And you're probably pretty scared of us. Let's see if you can throw something. No. All right, I think we're gonna move on. We're gonna go set up that fire, go chill by the camp, and then investigate over there for sure. I'm gonna set up my full spectrum camera too to watch us. So it should be really cool, guys. So we'll see you soon. All right guys, so we just set up the fire. We got some coyotes going crazy out here, so I had to pick up and start recording. Definitely got something. You hear them? They got something. So we got our fire going. We're gonna kinda hang out a little bit, relax. Maybe have something to eat. This fire's nice. They're close. They're just beyond where we went across the bridge. 
So what do we got on the dinner menu over here? Well, well there goes that. Well, we can add that to the pile. <laughs> yeah. Besides the coyotes, I don't. I wonder what theirs on 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 their dinner menu. I can only imagine. Yeah, those things are going wild. Wildy coyote over there. All right. What do we got? Asian style beef strips with vegetables. Okay. All right. And we got Southwest style beef with black beans. Very nice. So, well, your pick, man. I'm gonna let you choose. What do you want? Oh. This is how we They're do both, it. They both sound amazing. We're doing it fair. Those MREs come with tons of food in it. What does he got? What do I get? So hand me one. Right or left? I'm going to go with the left. That's my right. <laughs> <laughs> what do I get? Southwest style nice. beef. Nice. And black beans. Okay. All right. So. Asian beef. We're gonna hang out a little bit, we're gonna eat. We'll show you a little bit what the food looks like in a little bit, but I'm just gonna set down, probably set the camera up on the tripod or something like that and just relax a little bit, so. <laughs> going nuts. They're going nuts They're out going there, nuts man. out there right now. So, all right guys, we'll see you uh, for dinner time. All right, so I wanted to show you guys how awesome these MREs are. First, I'm gonna show you what I got here, and we'll start off with the little parts. You know, obviously it comes with a spoon. We got some gum in here, some uh, some wipes, some I think that's some juice right here, strawberry grape. We got some tortilla chipotle. We have. A marble pound cake. Look at that. This is the heater bag where you put a little bit of water in here and the heating elements warm it up for you for like it's like 15 minutes or so. We got some cheese spread. We got apple and spice sauce. Look at that. So much in here. Mocha cappuccino instant powder. got a beef snack and then we have the the actual food right here in this pouch so what do you got I got a milk chocolate cocoa beverage interesting all right milk chocolate cocoa milk, beverage milk chocolate cocoa beverage okay all right we got chunky peanut butter Ooh, chunky yep. peanut butter that's that's what I'm talking we about we got some strawberry jam okay to go with I believe this is Wheat bread, nice. wheat snack bread, so I can make a nice little PB and J. Okay. Uh, what else do I got in here? I got uh, patriotic sugar cookies. Very fitting. That very fitting. Look at that. So I might end up putting some peanut butter spread on these. Who knows if I'm feeling squarely? It's a lot of food. It is. And then uh, what else you got? I got another thing. A thing of applesauce, like you got. Nice. Nice big old. Look at the pouch of applesauce they give you. Oh, that's fancy. Look at, yeah, man. I don't got to put it on anything. Just squeeze it out of the tube. And then for the piece de resistance. What do you got? Oh, and that's the actual that's food. That's the actual food. And what was yours is, again? Uh, Asian beef with uh, vegetables. What do you think of all that? Uh, it's interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. It's a lot of indi individually random snacks yeah. put together, but you know what? Hey, that's that's great. I'm going to save some of it for later tonight. 100%. And uh, have the main meal right now. Absolutely. A little bit of a snack. Yep. And then we'll be back to investigating. So I'm going to keep the camera close by just in case anything crazy happens this whole night. Even when we're in the tent, going to have my camera ready. So, yeah, we're going to mow down and then we're going to finish up this investigation. Yeah. All right, guys, it's dinner time. We uh, warmed up our MREs and we're going to do a little taste test here. We'll have to give a little ranking on these. 100%, you know I mean? yeah. Like the old... Uh, Ooh, don't say it. Yeah. Don't say it. Wow. What's that? It smells good? Wow. What'd you get again? I keep forgetting. Asian beef. Asian beef, okay. Asian style. And I got beef. the uh, Southwest, Southwest beef. style beef, beef string beans. Yeah. What's up here? That's 
Yeah, that sounds pretty good. It smells pretty good. You know what? You know what this smells like? What's that? It smells like Jack Jack Link's beef teriyaki. Yeah, that smells really good. Yeah. That smells Southwest. That smells like uh, Chipotle. Oh yeah. Does it dude. smell like Chipotle? That smells delicious. Cheers. Right. Cheers, man. Cheers, guys. Slaunch it. Not terrible. No. I just got a big chunk of beef too. Yeah, the whole thing is shredded beef for me, which is nice. Not bad. Just got some crunchy onion. Yeah. Oh yeah. It tastes like straight up like beef stew. Yeah. You know what I mean? It just tastes like an Asian version of Denti More. You know what I mean? Never had that. Never had Denti More? Nope. Wow. Too bad for you, man. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> really not bad. I mean, a lot of people say MREs are just terrible. I could see how it is, like, if you eat, have to eat them every single day. What? what? But when you don't have a choice? When you don't have a choice. You're going to be thankful you have something like this. Yeah, this is actually not too bad. So what do you give? What do you give a rank now? Give it a rank because it is an MRE. So for an MRE rank. So there's tens are out of the realm of question. Yeah. It, so you're typically probably going to be like a one to a seven. Seven's probably going to be the highest that you probably give it. We give this it. right here. In all honesty, like a six two. Six two yeah. for an MRE. For an MRE. I'm gonna give this like. 7.8. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. And wow. they, it has a lot of good snacks, too, and everything, so. Right, I haven't dipped into that, but as far as just the pouch goes. Yeah, the pouch. Yeah. I mean, this is good. I can eat this. Nice, quaint little fire. A little pouch of food. Definitely going to be chilling here for the rest of the investigation. Mm -hmm. Still hearing some coyotes. Some bumps in the woods. They're not messing with us, so this is really chill. Really relaxed. Very. So, all right, guys. We're going to eat up. We'll see you guys soon. So check this guys out. If you guys want to see what MRE pound cake looks like, look at that thing. That's dense. Isn't that dense, That's dude? Dang, it looks dang, dude. too. I got applesauce. He's got applesauce. He's just sipping away. What'd you mm -hmm. say was in there? It's got like something Maltodextrin. For, for some energy or something? Enhanced performance. Enhanced performance. Look at that. Well, this is the first time you're going to see me eat, like, cake on this channel. So let's <laughs> see what it's like. Wow. Sugary? That's actually really good. Yeah? It's super sugary. Yeah, I thought so. Um... Marble pound cake, mm. so it's 18 grams of sugar, pound. two and a half, uh, one serving per container, two and a half ounces. It's pretty much two and a half ounces of sugar in bread. Yo, this is really good. Nice. You put some cheese bread on? No. <laughs> we were just hearing coyotes. A lot of them, again. Except last time. Just like screaming out there. It's about like, was it 10:30? Just before 10:30, yeah. Yeah. 
just finished eating our snacks. Sit by the fire a little bit, listen to some Yodis, and then uh, finish the investigation for you folks. Now that they calm down a little bit. Oh, you eating? Yeah. They're still yipping. That's wild. That's crazy how many there are. I don't think I've ever heard that many before. In my Not life. out here, yeah. No way. Not even where we're from. We don't really have coyotes at all. Not many. Not like that. It's like they're calling each other the packs out. Unless they're the same big pack. Maybe like, they are calling out yeah. because they found something. Right. They'll probably end up coming to check us out while we're sleeping. Yeah, see what was over here. Right. Yeah. Because they'll they probably yeah, smell. Cracking. Yeah. Listen to them. That's crazy. If you stand up and get away from the fire, it's even louder. Yo, they're just screaming. They sound like hyenas, dude. I know, right? They're going nuts out there. It's like surround sound of yeah. coyotes right now. Yeah. So crazy. Definitely cannot wait to start investigating. Ooh, it got cold away from the fire. Yeah. <laughs> got real cold away from the fire. All right. So it's time. We're just chilling here. We're going to start the paranormal investigation right at our campsite here. So, got the REM pod set up right in front of us. Got a uh, full spectrum camera kind of watching us from the side. And, uh, yeah, we keep this handy. We got the spirit box. So, it's quieted down significantly with the coyotes. Yeah. We haven't heard anything in probably about 45 minutes. It's been real nice and quiet here. So if we're going to be hearing something, it's going to be now. But I'm going to kick off with the spirit box right away. Go for it. Is there anybody here with us? Enjoying the fire? My name is Chris. We need you no harm. Can I have your name? Chris. Chris. Are you mimicking him? Or is that really your name? Me? Are you enjoying the fire we made? Yes, but I heard dead, a woman saying dead. Did you die here? Did you die on the carriage trail? Do you know if your body was buried here? Do you 
not like us being here? Do you want us to leave? If there is any spirits here with us, please use the device in my hand to communicate with us. There's also a device on the ground that has a red light. You can touch that if you'd like. It'll light up a different color. Not getting much right off the bat with the spirit box. So let's just hang out a little bit quiet. Walk around the campsite a little bit too. Yeah, this uh, log is very unforgiving for your behind. <laughs> I've been sitting on it for a little bit, so. All right, so we're gonna walk around the campsite a little bit, just kind of just around here, see if we can get anything going. I also have the EMF meter on me, and I still have the REM pod over there by the tent. If there's anybody here with us, any spirits, entities, any Wampanoag, settlers, please let yourself be known. We are friendly. Feel free to enjoy our fire, by all means. Can you make some kind of noise for us? Let us know you're here. Can you touch any of these devices for us? They will not harm you. Hello? Did you hear that? Sounds like we got steps coming. I don't know if that's just things falling off the trees. Pretty possible. It sounds like coming like it was from over here and then it started going this way. You hear that again? Yeah.
you hear that? so quiet out here now, but I do hear that. Tree, but yeah. something caused the leaf to fall or the wind. Just Let's walk towards this way a little bit. Wadji? You heard that? Or a Wampanoag spirit? If you're a Pogwaji, can you throw something at us? It went dank over here. By the fire? Did you hear the you hear the rem pod? I heard something like a, like a technology go ding. Maybe it was my camera. Maybe my camera turned off. The light's still on. Yeah, but the camera um, it might have turned off. Okay. Yo, you heard that? Yeah, yeah. Pop up. Hello? You hear that animal noise? Yeah, it's coming from down here. Throw something at us. Are you scared to throw something at us? Is there a portal out here? Show us your portal. Where's the portal? Come through it. Don't be a coward.
Are you scared to show your face? Awfully quiet. Very. Especially after those weird animal noises we just heard. Yeah. If there's a portal, open it up. Whoa. That what? was weird. I thought I just saw Saturn on the other side of the I don't know if it was a combination of our lights going around it. We're going to be here all night. While you're there, see if my camera's recording. <laughs> cool. Real, real quiet. Strangely quiet. Like all the animal noises around us stop too. I'm gonna bring out the spirit box again. And uh, I'm not getting any spikes on the EMF meter so far tonight. Trish. Yeah, let's trade. If there is a spirit here, I have a question for you. What am I holding in my hand? What does he have? Whoa, did you hear that voice come through? That was weird. What is this? Please talk to us. Can you tell us in your name, please?
Hmm. I think that was just something else. Yeah. All right. We're going to try again in a little bit. It's still, I think, only around 11 or so. A little after. A little after 11. So we're going to be here the whole night, and I'm going to have my camera handy with me. If anything weird starts happening, I'm going to pick up the camera, start recording, and we're going to chill a little bit longer. So, so we're going to walk around just a little bit with the full-spectrum camera. It's the first time I've ever done this. Outdoors, really. He thought he heard something behind us as we started going up the trail here. So we're right at here we are. the swamp area. All right. Hello? So we are lights out right now. We are in the dark. All we have is the moonlight. That's the moon. It's actually decently bright still. It really is. Hello? Is anybody here with us? Please make a noise. Or show yourself. Keep hearing something over here. Who's here with us? Do you hear that low voice? Show yourself. Tell us your name, please. If there's anybody here, please speak to us. Say hello. Say hello.
Let us know if uh, we missed anything there, guys. Didn't think I heard too much. Let us know if you saw anything as well. In full spectrum. It's kind of hard for us to see out here. It is pitch black right now. Besides a little bit of moonlight that we have. But I'm going to shine mm -hmm. down. Actually, that looks really creepy. Yeah, it does. Look at that on the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? We're going to be here all night. You hear that, right? I see a fuck buggy. Hiding way up high. I'm gonna walk back that way. Hello? You heard that, right? That was close. Yeah, it's in the trees up there. Keep going. All right, guys. We're going to hang out for a few more minutes. Then we're going to... Maybe have a snack, get in the tent, call it a night. Going to keep the camera right next to me all night long. Anything goes down, I will start recording. And then we will, uh, well, I guess we'll catch up in the morning. So hopefully we survive the night. And uh, we'll see you guys real soon. What up guys? Thought we would invite you over here in our tent. We're just hanging out before we're gonna pass out. And if we do hear anything, we're definitely gonna, I got the camera right next to me, gonna check it out. So flash I thought I'd, at the ready. got the flashlights ready. Probably gonna be snacking on some of these MRE snacks over here. We're both munchies. like covered in mud, Yep. but that's okay. It's the reason we explore. So it's pretty cool in here actually. It's a lot of room. Significant. Wouldn't say it's the Taj Mahal, but nah, but it's pretty cool. 
I dig it. So it's a, it's a neat little tent. Yeah, honestly. So so we're gonna chill here for a little bit. What time is it? Is it like what one thirty? One forty. So it's been a long night. We're gonna get some shut eye. I was thinking about leaving the REM pod outside, but if it gets damp, I don't want it to ruin the REM pod. But I might do that. So if we hear some beeps, that'd be that'd be kind of crazy. So. But, all right, guys, good night, and we will see you in the morning. Peace. We're hearing some coyotes very close. They sounded really close. I thought you were dead asleep. No. <laughs> I have not slept at all. Yeah, I got a foot cramp and then a uh, thigh cramp. All in the same. I got a foot cramp too. Foot cramp. Hello? That's like 4.20, 4.30 in the morning. We heard a coyote really close. And then we heard, it sounded like it was probably a plane going really slow over us, but it's going so slow. using my phone right now to record. It's hearing a lot of weird stuff out here. Quiet down. <laughs> we got a big red in there somewhere. Sam Swift is trying to sleep. <laughs> I just wanted to come out here and investigate real quick. It's gonna start getting light real soon. Check back in the morning.
Good morning, guys. So we survived the night, and uh, we're about to pack up. We're about to get out of here. Nothing crazy really happened last night. We had a little bit of, of a visitor of a uh, coyote, but kind of stayed away, and uh, that was really it. Nothing crazy happened overnight. I did take a couple little clips with my phone. I might throw those in there, so you might have already seen them. It was creepy, though. It was very creepy. Didn't really sleep too much, but it's all good. We had a good night. And uh, definitely throw it in the comments if we missed anything. And until the next adventure, guys, we are out of here. Later. Peace.